Hey guys, me and Evan just picked up the NES Classic Mini. We got in line at EB Games, I don't even know like what time, like 6 six thirty. Yeah, 6.20ish. Like uh, when we got in line, we were the second person in line, um, and then there was a bunch of people behind us. The store only had 10, that's it, just 10 copies. So everyone who lined up way afterwards with the EB Games, people told them, you know, hey, sorry, like, no luck, you're not going to get it. Um, we met a lot of cool people though while working there. So the box, very typical NES style box. It looks really nice actually. It's a lot smaller than I would have thought. It's a very classic -y style kind of box, the original look to it. Um, there's also like no seals really, it's just a cardboard box. So we haven't opened it yet. So we'll just do a little bit of an unboxing now. So that's it for the box. And then, so you got the manual. This is the controller. How's it feel? The, contro the controller actually feels like the original controller. Um, one thing that the guy at EB Games was telling us, he said that the controllers for this, the cord is ridiculously short. He's like, so you're going to want to pick up uh, an extension cord, which they only had four of. Um, luckily, we did get two, one for me and one for Evan. The only thing that they didn't have, though, was extra controllers. So we're going to have to figure out how to get some more controllers. That's the, wow, that's it. That's how long the cord is. That's, <laughs> that's really short. Yeah, that's not long at all. It's as long as my arm. That's that's kind of crazy. But the controller does feel really nice. It's exactly like the original. Yeah, it, feel, it feels really nice. The Mini is way smaller than what I thought it would be. Let me just get this out. That's oh, it. Oh, wow. That's it. That That actually does fit in the palm of your hand. How's the uh, yeah. w w weight to it? Is it light or does it feel pretty strong? No, it's really light, really light. This is, yeah, this is like crazy light. I it mean, looks sick though. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Um, I know that they said that it was supposed to be like a phone cord uh, for charging, so I don't know if that comes with it or not. There's a little brick, a USB brick. Open that up. Oh, HDMI. HDMI. Yeah. And then I'm guessing this, yep, yeah. yeah, that's the USB power cord. All right, so that's that. We are gonna plug it in now, we'll fire it up and test it right now. See what it's like, okay? Two seconds. All right, so we did pick up the extension cord. Um, like I said, though, they only had a few there. Wait, like, show them how short the cord is from like, yeah, the, the this system? Yeah, this is it. This the is couch. it. Like, you would have to play that, like, right in front of you. How long this is, like, this is crazy long. This is so, so much better, so much better. Okay, cool. Let's test this out. English. What's that one? <laughs> P Y C C K N N. I don't have no idea. Oh, it even tells you like what's a two-player game? Balloon fight. Oh, blah, sick. Blah, blah. Castlevania one, two. Castlevania one. That's awesome. It's got a little background music. Oh, double dragon. Galaga's awesome. Ghosts and Goblins. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, Gradius is really good too. Let's see the menu display settings. So you can choose your display settings. You got CRT, 4x3, and uh, pixel perfect. So I guess, yeah, it's more of a smaller version so it's stretched. Obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the 4x3. Options, what options do you get? Demo mode, auto shutdown, burn in screen reduction. Oh, that's crazy that they have that. Factory, now. reset your settings. Language, we already did that. Legal notices. <laughs> That's hilarious. All the uh, copyrights. All copyrights. Yeah, yeah. Manuals. manuals with the original game manuals and information. Oh, so if you scan that, it'll come up on your smart device. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Pac-Man, Punch Out, Star Tropics, Super C. So quiet. One player. <laughs> yeah, it is quiet. Yeah, it looks sick. That's wicked, man. Yeah. Woo! So, I don't remember how long it lasts, though. But yeah, so that is it. It looks amazing. I mean, it is, it's crazy. The controller, two controllers are the size of the whole entire system. 
But like I said, um, you definitely want an extension cord. Like this cord is great. You'd definitely be really far away with it. I don't know how limited quantities the cords are. It seemed like they're pretty limited. Also, like I said, they didn't even have extra controllers yet. So maybe we'll think about getting a third party version of one um, and wait to see what happens with the first party ones. But like it, the controller feels great. It looks great too. Yeah, it, it looks, looks great. Out. It feels exactly like the original. Very nice buttons. Um, the system looks Honestly, amazing. It's awesome. It's the just, box is pretty sick too. Everything about it seems really fun. Post a two with it? That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, like it's awesome guys. For for the price, the value is crazy what you get. I'm sure like these are probably like we they were already sold out, and I'm pretty sure everyone who came to the store was also aware that no matter where you go, they're probably sold out already. And there was no pre-order, unfortunately. We were like staying up all night last night trying to hope that maybe it would pop up. But yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys were able to go out there and get one for yourself. I know it's, it's gonna just be difficult. It's a little bit of a flaw, actually. We just discovered it now. Um, so currently on the extension cord, they have a little clip here, and that would mean you couldn't actually play with two extension cords at the exact same time. But we just looked at it. Um, it looks like it's just for a strap for the the Wemo controller or whatever to strap around it. It's just got two little screws. So we're gonna probably pop those screws off, take this little clip off, it's unnecessary. And then it'll open up space so you can have two plugged in. Cause like, there's no, yeah, like that's that's kind of silly. So definitely you have to take that off if you have two controllers. Okay guys, just wanted to update the NES Mini. So we have it on display in the store. We've been playing it a lot lately. Um, we actually, a lot of people couldn't get two controllers cause basically Nintendo I guess didn't really ship out any controllers. So we have the one that it came with and we also have the uh, classic style controller for the Wii and Wii U, usable on Wii U. Um, and we have our extension cord plugged in obviously cause the cord's super short. But like Evan was saying previously in the video, there was like this little plastic tab and it was on here and it would have actually blocked where the other controllers go. Um, it's just like a strap holder. So I just took it off, I need use a couple little Take a two little screws uh, with a tiny little screwdriver bit. Uh, really easy to do, and then you put the screws back in and it holds the shell together. But this is just like how it looks in comparison to the regular NES. Honestly, it's about like one fourth maybe. It's so small, so light. The best part though about using this controller is that when you start up a game, so I'll start up a game. Let's go with, I was playing Double Dragon. I think I actually, ch yeah, Double Dragon, yeah. So there we go, Double Dragon's loading up. Um, Two players. Okay, now the problem with the NES is on this controller, you cannot go home. But on this controller, like every time you have to actually push the reset button, every time you want to go back to the main menu. But if you hold the home button down, it'll actually bring you back to the main menu. So that's the one advantage that the classic controller has over the uh, NES controller that comes with the system. There's no home button on here, unfortunately, so you actually have to push reset every single time. And if you're like most people and your NES is actually probably next to your TV, because you're not going to put it right next to you, even though this like, cord's only three feet long, you're going to get an extension cord, you're going to want to be able to just push the button instead of getting up every time and pushing that little button. But it's still an amazing system. We're going to keep playing it and reviewing it as we go. Um, we're leaving this one in the store just for display. A lot of people missed out on getting the NES, and we want people to come in and check it out. And we're thinking about raffling it off in uh, Christmas time, December. But it is an awesome system. It's sold out everywhere, obviously. That's what everyone expected. Very limited quantities. Hopefully you guys were lucky to get your hands on one. If not, come on down to the store and check it out. Alright. Take it easy, guys. We'll update you later.